Welcome back, folks. The last episode we got a tip from Mr. Lamb to go and see, to go and see his friend Mr. Anchor and ask him about some special policy. Hello, Mr. Anchor. Hmm. Do you know by any chance where I could get a Schriebman port? Know where I can get a Schriebman port? Do you have medical cover? No. No, I don't. Don't even consider an operation. You wouldn't believe the blunders made by deranged surgeons. Okay, thanks for the warning, I guess. But what about, um... I'm not interested in medical cover. What about your dependents? My only dependent is my robot. And he wants to be terminated when I die. Right. <laughs> Without my friend Rob, my existence would be futile. What is your relationship with that robot? We're just good friends. Joey is like a brother to me. I can do you a sibling rivalry <laughs> policy. I don't think so. Oh, Mr. Anchor. But what about your special policies? I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Let's see how he likes his friend, Mr. Lamb. Gilbert Lamb. Lamb? He's a slime boy. <laughs> I can't bear the man. I thought he was your friend. Definitely not. I can't help you, I'm afraid. Yeah, apparently... Um, Mr. Lamb does seem to have more sympathy for Mr. Anchor than the other way around. Something which probably doesn't happen very often with Mr. Lamb. But he likes someone else more than himself. Okay, now I think... Let's check out Mr. Lamb's apartment <clears throat> and feed his pussy. And by pussy, I don't mean vagina, but a cat. Yeah, apparently Mr. Lamb does not have a vagina, so we can't feed it. There's a video cassette and the bookcase. Let's and the cat. Let's um stroke the cat and see what happens. I better not stroke it. It might scratch me. Or don't. What about the video cassette? Pussies on parade. Hmm. They're fake. Just empty cardboard boxes. I'm not sure what would stop me more. If um, pussy would stand for cat or vagina. Probably pussy. Uh, probably cat, I think. Yeah, I don't. I just hope that Miss Lamb doesn't have cat form. Nope. Seems to be quite harmless. Well, well maybe um, Mr. Lamp gets as excited when he sees it. I just hope he doesn't. The cushion is covered in grease and cat fur. Thanks God now come. Let's feed the cat. Yeah, I think we're done with this apartment for the moment. So let's um, find someone who could give us a Schriebmann port. And um, <clears throat> by the way, um, The name Schriebmann, I don't know how it appears to you, but to me as a German, you just know 
immediately that it's one of those fake German names that some non-German guy made up. Because if this was a German name, it would be probably be Schreibmann, but not Schriebmann. That just is just incompatible with um, the way the language works. Okay, we've seen this pictures of guy with a fake nose, fake butt, fake muscle, and fake um, breasts. Let's try to make an appointment with Mr. Burke. By the way, William Burke was a famous um, guy, a murderer, who strangled um, homeless people and then sold their bodies to a doctor. I think I want a Schriebmann port. I want a Schriebmann port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Hmm. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Maybe Joey can do something about this. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. Let me in. What shall I say to her? Hmm. Use your imagination. Do I have to? She gives me the creeps. It's only a hologram. Surely you can outwit it. Hi. My name's Joey. <laughs> hmm. Didn't quite work, Joey. Try chatting up the hologram again. Didn't you see what happened? She ignored me. You were probably being too familiar with her. Try to be more businesslike. What do you want me to say? Okay, apparently, um, Joey's <laughs> imagination didn't work that well, so maybe some persuasion. Try to persuade her to open the door. Why don't you forget about the operation? I can't. I need that port. Yeah, I think we do. My human friend needs to see the doctor. That's not possible at present. That's a shame. I was looking forward to being alone with you. Forget it. I've heard about you welders. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I really want... I really need you... Try chatting up the hologram, hologram again. again. This is the last time, Foster. What do you want me to say? Yeah, and this will be the last time. Try to use your natural charm. Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh! Why didn't you say so before? Good grief. Okay, whoever this Overman guy is, he must be very, very important. <clears throat> and the guy fiddling in the this man's organs is probably Mr. Burke. Yeah. Let's talk to the man first. Poor devil. Hello there. You're conscious. Oh yes. Hmm. Doesn't it hurt? Oh no. I wouldn't have volunteered if it did. <laughs> have you brought me any grapes? Um. I actually didn't come here to visit I you. I didn't come here to visit you. What are you here for? To see the doctor. You'll regret it. He's completely mad, you know. Uh... He's not even qualified. <laughs> Why are you here then? I needed the money. Do you know anyone called Overman? I've never heard of him. 
Okay. I have to go now. Drop by again sometime. Yeah, I will. Buddy. Okay. Let's talk to Mr. Burr. Excuse me. <clears throat> Don't make me jump like that. Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? I need a Shriebman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, mm -hmm. you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. <laughs> I don't think Kidney, it does. Kidney, lung, or testicles. What? What? Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Well, I think that don't really need a kidney. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'll have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. Yeah, so maybe he will take our lung. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc. I can take it. You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Hmm. Okay, then. Folks? You know what comes next? Yes. We are going to do it. We are going to sell our testes. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh, no. It doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Yes, when we return, we shall continue, probably, or hopefully, with bots. So, until next time, folks. Until then.